Everyone, we are at Disneyland Orlando and we are close to this ride. Now what's the significance of this ride? The reason why we are talking about earworms in particular, and in this case it's a small world, is because the song is famous for being an earworm. Now research says that everyone experiences earworms, but women tend to experience it more than men. In fact a lady had a song stuck in her head for about close to 33 years. Also research suggests that 74% of the songs which are earworms are songs with lyrics whereas only 7% of instrumental music can become an earworm. Songs like The Final Countdown, Who Let The Dogs Out are some of the more famous earworms. Earworms aside, there are multiple things which can enter your brain and kind of change the way it's thinking. One of this is the McCulloch effect. The images which you see in the picture here are the red horizontal grading and the green vertical grading. Prolonged exposure or staring at these images can alter your way, can alter the way your brain perceives colors. In this case, the red horizontal grading and the green vertical grading. And now when you look at a black and white horizontal grading, it will start appearing greenish, whereas the other one starts appearing a tinge of pink. The effect is remarkable and exposure to even about 15 seconds to these two images can alter the way your brain perceives images for close to about 2-3 to three hours. And that's not just true for these black and white images. Even the railings behind me, they would change color if you were to stare at this image for too long. Staring at these images for close to 15 minutes can lead to the image, can lead to the effect lasting for close to three months. Now these effects were discovered much earlier. Remember those earlier monitors in the 1980s, which had green text, or remember Matrix, which had green text appear on a black screen? If you stare at it for too long, you would see words appearing in a novel which were on a white background starting to appear pink. Try it. Now what's a way to get rid of earworms? Scientists say engaging in activities which involve some aspects of your brain such as Sudoku, Anagrams, Scrabble can help you get rid of earworms real quick. So that's the tip. Thank you so much for watching this video. In case you like this video, please subscribe to the channel Everyday Questions for answers to questions like these in everyday life. In my next video, I'll be speaking about roller coasters and why does it make some people feel uncomfortable. So for that, I'll leave you with a shot of that.